Hey there, I'm Richard of ShootingRichard.com. I'm a video producer and director, as well as the author of Thus to Innocence and In a World, How to Make Book Trailers That Sell More Books. I'm on an unending quest to rid the world of abysmal book trailers, and so today I'm gonna answer the most asked question of all time about book trailers. How much do those suckers cost? The short answer is, as much as you can afford. It varies wildly. It's sort of like asking how many grains of salt make your food taste better. It all sort of depends. I mean, what kind of food do you want? I know that's not a super helpful answer, so let's get into the real specific number. If you're seeing this far in the future, my numbers are probably going to be vastly off. The same goes for different places around the country. New York and California likely have different rates for video production than like Osceola, Arkansas. Every book trailer is custom and therefore your prices are likely to be custom too. It just depends on what you want. So honestly, there's really no way to know. Fine, expect to pay between 500 and 5,000 bucks for something that's pretty professional. There are cheapo companies that will spit out book trailers for under 500 bucks. Things that cheap can sometimes be low quality or the people making them don't know what they're doing or you can't customize it to fit your book. Sometimes using a template or a cheapo option can go really well. But a lot of times you're at risk of committing my cardinal sin, which is making a book trailer that sucks. In my opinion, you're better off making a book trailer yourself than relying on somebody who's only gonna charge you $30 for a week's worth of work. Yep, you can make a book trailer all by yourself for absolutely nothing. Depending on your scope, how many resources you have access to, and your own creativity, you can make a book trailer that kicks some serious But just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. It's unlikely that you're amazing at everything involved in making a good book trailer. So if you do have a little bit of money, you can hire people who are experts at making videos and they can leave you to do what you're expert at, namely writing. If you want a one-stop shop, you can find a producer or a production company who's willing to do all of the logistical and filmy parts of making a book trailer for you. Now sometimes they want to do everything from creative concept all the way through delivery, and sometimes they'll just want to do one aspect, like filming the production, and then leave the creative strategy and all of that up to you. It really just depends on which flavor of production you're looking for. It's usually best to approach these guys with some kind of creative plan or at least an idea of what you want to do. This lets them know that you're serious and that you're going to take them seriously so you're not a waste of each other's time. But you don't have to pay a single sticker price and go to a big production house to get this done. You may want to... That's what I was gonna say. Rather than getting everything all at once, you can hire people all a card such as a camera operator or an actor. You can find what you need and negotiate rates individually. Most film people work for a day rate or a project rate, or you negotiate a, a fixed rate based on what you're asking them to do. You can also try your hand at finding crew for free. You can find professionals who are willing to work on your project and willing to volunteer their services, their equipment, their skills in exchange for making a finished product that they can use in their portfolio or on their reel. And also you kind of agree, you're gonna feed them if you work on more than like six hours. However you plan to compensate people, most likely you wouldn't do your job for free and film people don't wanna do their jobs for free either. If they are willing to volunteer their time, at least be respectful of that. Okay, fine, a decent day rate for the lowest person on the ladder, this person is called a production assistant or a PA, is around 200 bucks if they're working on a big professional production. Now, in the independent film world, things are a little more scrappy. So if you know a guy who knows a guy, a decent thing to offer is maybe say, hey, would you be willing to come out for like 250 bucks for the day? Or 250 bucks might be insultingly low. 
Your best course of action is just to ask people directly. People are pretty nice and most filmmakers actually want to make films. So if you're willing to negotiate with them and talk to them about rates and what you're trying to do and let them know that you're on a specific budget, a lot of times they will meet that or they will say, no, thank you, but they can recommend somebody who might be interested. Now, one of the more important actors that you're gonna need is going to be a narrator or a voice actor. I can't stress this enough. I think that's really important that your trailer sounds good and is voiced by a professional, not by you sitting in your closet with a blanket over your head. When it comes to a professional voiceover, my experience has been that they usually want around $100 a minute for non-broadcast marketing work. You may be able to get them for cheaper, you may be able to get them for more expensive, but for non-broadcast, I think about 250 bucks is a pretty good starting place. That's a tough question. I'd say ballpark it and be reasonable. If it's something that would cost you thousands of dollars to do, don't be surprised if someone else quotes you thousands of dollars to do it. Also keep in mind that filmmaking takes time and a lot of times it takes longer than you think it will. I see projects all the time, especially with younger filmmakers, where if you add up how much they're asking and how much time they spent, it comes out to pennies per hour. But it is totally within a crew member's right to ask for a decent hourly paycheck. The best way to know if you're getting screwed though is to get quotes from different sources. There's no such thing as price fixing in the film world because everybody's competing with themselves. So more than likely, if you get three or four quotes that all come in around the same range, you're in the ballpark. Also consider that experience and quality, even perceived quality, costs more money. So my day rate is likely to be a little bit lower than like Steven Spielberg's day rate. Steven Spielberg is gonna bring his experience, his name, and his style to a project, whereas I'm only gonna bring my good looks and charming personality. Players gotta play. That's it. If you need more details and an in-depth look at how to make book trailers, I encourage you to get my book, In a World, How to Make Book Trailers That Sell More Books, in the droppy downy thing down here. You can also sign up for the Shooting Richard newsletter, which will bring you tips, tricks, and bonus material every couple months or so. Finally, like and subscribe and do all of the youtube -y things, and please leave a comment because that's how I hear from you. And lastly, and most importantly, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.